it's me, Kelly. No makeup right now because we are going to be doing <laughs> dropped on the floor. Clamnetics review. Ah! Yay! So I got the eyeliner and the lashes. And we're gonna be doing a review on Glamnetics. How about that? How about it? It's good, it's good stuff. Anywho, I've never put on eyeliner before, so this might be bad. I put eyeliner like, you know, on this little area here inside my eyelid. But I've never put it like on the outside where you do like cat eyes or whatever. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna see how that goes. I'm not really a, an artist when it comes to makeup. See if it's really easy. If I can do it, anyone can do it. That's for sure. I went to the hair salon to try and get my hair done and it's gonna be a whole big thing to get the brassy color out of it and to get it lightened and toned and because I have such the hair, long hair, it's going to be like a huge deal, so I decided not to do that because I don't want to sit in a freaking chair for three hours, and I don't want to spend close to $300 on getting my hair done, <laughs> so I bought this stuff, it's called, <laughs> I know it's cheesy, it's called Rock On, and I've never used it before, I usually use Manic Panic, but they were out, I know, it's super lame, but I that's what I used because I like the colors. They're all out and I have to use this, this developer with it, which I've never used developer before in my life. <laughs> this doesn't seem too hard though, so I think it'll be alright. But yeah, it's going to come out, I guess like kind of like the color of the box. I looked it up and it's, it's pretty much the color of the box, but it does depend on how light your hair is. <laughs> What was that? I don't know. I'm weirding out today. I kind of, kind of got like upset because I really wanted to do, to like dye my hair a little more blonde-ish color and do like a balayage, but it's just gonna take way too much effort and time and money. So, I'm kind of upset about that. But I love doing colors on my hair, so. I don't care if I'm old, I still like colors. The Glamnetics review. Glamnetics review, here we go. I'm doing it. I'm scared, I'm a little scared. I am back. I'm not sure where to look. Should I look into the mirror? Should I look into the camera? I should look into the camera, right? Just ordered the basics. So I ordered the lashes that I think that I like. And I ordered just the liquid magnetic liner. They come with directions. Application, shake bottle before each use. For best results, apply when liner is 80% dry. Dissolves in warm water. I don't know what that means. Is 80% dry? I don't know what that means. That means you have to like wait for a minute to put it on. There's the lashes. There are the lashes. They're very pretty. I love them. Um, it doesn't say what which ones they were. Here they are. I guess I'll try on the liner. Okay, I've never put on liquid liner before, you guys, so. It says to put on on 80% dry. I'm not sure what that means. Now it's time to testify. I love mascara cake around your eyes. Shadows smooth like a bar fly when you wake up. Okay, there's the first one. I don't know how I feel about it. You can see it's kind of falling off. Let me try. It's just falling off. Please, 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 please. Don't change one thing for me. I put more eyeliner on. It doesn't put it enough on, maybe. It seems like you only want to put it on to like the middle of your eyelid thing. Anywho, right now it looks, it doesn't look very good. <laughs> I'm just being honest, right? 
and I don't think it's staying on very well either. <laughs> so I'm not happy right now about it. <laughs> I'm not good with eyeliner. Alright, see, oh, my eyelashes are sticking together, or my eyelids, I mean. <laughs> Alright. They look ridiculous to me. I don't know what you guys think, but I, can you see it? They're all made out of the same material. The material just looks really fake. And you can see my eyelashes underneath them, so... <laughs> don't like. I mean, I'm gonna try it again and again and again and I'm gonna practice and maybe I'm just not doing a good job, but for someone who has never put on eyeliner before or fake eyelashes, they're not, definitely not, don't buy. It's not easy. It's not as easy as you think it would be because um, this is how they look if you're not super skilled at it <laughs> and maybe even if you are super skilled at it I don't know <laughs> I'll have to watch someone else's review who is super skilled <laughs> but it looks ridiculous they don't come off they're not coming off oh well it is okay never mind it did come off then this one's not coming off though yeah it says the only way they'll come off if if you put them in warm water so this eyeliner is not coming off you guys and it's burning my eyeballs <laughs> so i put vaseline under my eyes and tried to get this stuff off but it's not coming off i guess if you have sensitive eyes or you have contacts it's gonna be really hard to get the eyeliner off of your eyelids. <laughs> Paid like 60 bucks I think for the lashes and the eyeliner and it's I don't it's not worth it to me. It's really not worth it. <laughs> I'd rather just go get them done. And there's black stuff all over my face. I just realized that the eyeliner is like all over my face. <laughs> and I wash my face. I wash my face and I put Vaseline on my eyes. I'm not gonna go through the entire process with you because I, there's not like any kind of technique that I use to put it on. I usually just try and evenly disperse it around my hair and I make sure to really get the back and um, to pull up my hair and then get the very, very back or to get the insides of my hair. Um, and then I just comb it through with a comb as best as I can. I know it's really tangly when it, it has color all over it, but that's pretty much all I do. I might put a little clip in, but I'll show you the before. Here's the before. And here's the after. Here it is. It's supposed to be a fuchsia. I think it looks good. It's just, it was really, really smelly when I put it on like really bad and it was hard to breathe and I was keeping it away from my face, my whole hair. And so it's kind of hard to like comb through it because I would, Every time I'd comb through it, I'd get like a big whiff, whiff of, of dye. So it didn't really get some spots as well as I would like, would have liked. But all in all, I like it. I just put on some mascara and curled my eyelashes. And the stuff, the magnetic liner, I tried it again. I tried the lashes again. And still, the big thing is like this magnetic liner it just does not come off of my face it just doesn't come off and then also the lashes they just don't look natural they look outrageous <laughs> they don't contour to the shape of my eye like they'll stick on right here and then they'll come off right here or they'll stick on all right here and then they'll just be they'll come off right there even with a bunch of liner on and I don't like to use a bunch because it's a really messy liner um, but you have to in order for it to stick because the first time I just used a little bit and it didn't, the lashes didn't stick. That's my verdict 
on the lashes, the dye. I do really like it. I like the color. I like that it's not like super cheap and meaning like it's not gonna come off really easily like on my skin. It well, doesn't come off on my skin or anything. I was rinsing it off. Not a lot came off. Unlike some brands like the Manic Panic, it comes off really easily. Um, but there is good and bad because this is really smelly. Even now it's like so smelly. <coughs> And then you just get like a brighter color from the Manic Panic. So I don't know, I might do one of those again. <laughs> they are my guilty pleasure. Who am I talking to you about? All right, so that is it for the eyelashes. By the way, because I emailed Glamnetics and I told them that I wasn't satisfied with my purchase. So they said to, just to keep the lashes, they just refunded me my money. So that was really nice of them. I really don't see myself wearing those lashes at all, <laughs> ever. I will tell you that they are a good company. I just, the lashes just were not for me. Let me know if you've had different experience with Labnetics. Other than that, thanks so much for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.